The ancient ram is believed to be one of the most haunted buildings in Britain. Drop that even harder if you're a demon. The Ram Inn was the most evil place he had ever had the misfortune to visit. Oh my god! Yo, what the f Is that a dead body? It's the haunted barn. It's full of children's bodies. This is like a full on conversation. In the name of the. What? what? The Bro, what? <laughs> Dude, that's a fucking whisper right there. It's the exact moment that he touched the phone with the paper. Dude, I just like my eyes started watering. Oh. My name is John. I'm the owner. John, the owner in that painting, died on the couch over there. It's not just like bones, it's actual sacrifices. Are you the one making me feel sick to my stomach right now? I'm like literally shocked right now. That's f***ing you know, to a survey. For tenebras, for flamen, for sanguinum, those TV, for Nisimus. Welcome back or welcome to the Overnight Channel, everyone. We're with two amazing people, Colin and Connor. Paranormal Files. Woo! Somehow, go. somehow it have taken years to do a formal collab together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have been literally in the same town as each other numerous times and it's never worked out. Mm -hmm. We weren't even supposed to be around tonight. We had a whole location cancel on us. Yeah. You have me four hours away. We drove here. I've already investigated with you. You Did can kind of say we saved the day. Almost. Uh, okay, all right. You know what I mean? Uh, okay. Okay. Yes, oh, oh, okay, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that four. Yeah, thank you. Over thank you. Yeah. I don't like that my wife here. just called you a superhero. I'm kind of not bitter about that right now. <laughs> I think you're getting infected. Who do man. I look like? You look like the most handsome of all the superheroes. Oh, Ant-Man? Ant-Man's a good yeah, he's superhero. Yeah, he's All right. Yeah. Dude, he's he can at least make himself man. bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that was great. Oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> you Ant-Man? This is why I postponed this collab for <laughs> <laughs> Well, I got here a few hours ago. I joined your investigation, uh, which was... Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, uh, it, was, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. Hmm? It was a good time. You I had something. In you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually more fun that you don't know anything at all, because then if anything happens again that's the same, well, we brought <sighs> one thing. We've been waiting to use it this trip. This is a ritual kit. Try and differentiate things a little bit. Turn up the heat a little bit. See, see what might happen. Are you? How can you even possibly turn it up from what we just did? He was breathing pretty he heavy. Was <laughs> he really was. What is happening? He was getting into it, man. I don't know. Anyway, let's just say we figured out why it's called the Ram Inn. Oh. Okay. There's so many jokes you can make about this. Yeah. Honestly. Do it. And just Keep do going. Do another one right now. Fuck. Now there's so much pressure. <laughs> 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 oh, All right, come back to me. Later. <laughs> come back. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Did it? You see? Oh, I'll wear a vest, bro. Let me. But let do me you take, want to wear a vest? I honestly, I want to wear it. a vest. I really want to. You really I want to wear an honorary He's so vest, cute. man. You Please. just made his night. I'm so f***ing happy to wear this vest. Wow. Like. He's so happy. I just want so you guys to all know. Because look how cool we look. These guys these all look so pimping. <laughs> there you go. I, I feel know. like this is good protection, protection for this place. Exactly. I gotta wrap it up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Protect I gotta wrap it up, you know? <laughs> Damn. Now you I look Now I feel like part of the team. Hunter. There you go. It's kind of nice. You understand what I'm asking questions? Yeah, right? I feel like a cop. They always do that. <laughs> you know? Where were you the night of 1412? Huh? Oh, that's 14. 14 12. The year? It's, it's, yeah, it's a joke because of how old the place is. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, He's I'm, a like, comedian. I feel like yeah. I'm getting live feedback from my comment section right now. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient Ram Inn, the most haunted home in England, was built in 1145. It served as a priest residence, inn, and public house, now sitting as the oldest building in England's Watton Under Edge. It is known to sit atop of two ley lines, which are believed to be channels of flowing spiritual energy, and when combined, 
enhance the power source and activity of the other side. These same ley lines can be mapped directly into the historically sacred location, Stonehenge, allowing free flowing energy to travel this spiritual highway. During its initial phase of life, the property was used to house those working on the church across the street. One of the key tasks was diverting existing streams of water around the church and the Ram Inn, theoretically creating a flowing portal of energy full circling the property. And directly in the center of the timeline of the Ram Inn were the infamous witch trials that swept throughout England, with one in particular directly tied to this location. In the 1500s, a witch was burned at the stake, yet her last place of refuge prior to being captured and executed was the Ram Inn. She now has her own room within the property, aptly titled The Witch's Room, as she is known to haunt all of those who enter her sanctuary. Yet beyond its near 900-year-old structure, the Ram Inn is placed upon a 5,000-year-old pagan burial ground. There is no doubt that the history of the ancient Ram Inn is complex and layered in the soil and mortality of it. But the modern hauntings and stories of terror that brought us here today began in the late 1960s by a man named John Humphreys who wished to protect the historical building and then called it his own home. He had numerous claims of the vicious hauntings that would torment him during his sleep, violently dragging him out of bed and across the room. Yet even still, he persisted to call this place his home. Determined to not give up his pledge to preserve the ancient Ram Inn, he continued to sleep in the home and to be awoken in the middle of the night by demonic activity. He stayed there alone, as his wife and three daughters refused to stay with him. As each night he fought to survive, he would spend his days finding answers to what tortures him in the evening. Evidence was found of ritual sacrifice, devil worship, and the skeletal remains of children underneath a staircase. Alongside of the remains, broken daggers believed to be used in this horrific ritual, left in a manner so that whatever evil may have been summoned could never be undone. The hauntings documented in the ancient Ram Inn vary to an extreme level, with their reasons for occurring being equally as horrific. The former innkeeper's daughter is believed to be hung in the attic. The spirits of the unknown amount of children that were murdered here are now known to roam the home. A centuries worth of various exorcisms and dark practices have compiled here to accumulate a near visible darkness that consumes this property. The bishop's room is considered to be the most haunted of them all, where those meant to represent the good and the light were abusing their power and inflicting atrocious treatment upon those they were meant to protect. The alleged occurrences that took place here are too graphic for us to share. During the time in which John would sleep in the main part of the home, he reported that an incubus and succubus would haunt and inflict their terror upon him and anyone who would dare stay overnight. The evidence documented here and feelings visitors immediately acquire upon entering are immense. The stories John shared is only heightened by the thousands of guests that have had paranormal encounters here as well. Being shoved while walking up the stairs, dark entities appearing in a near arrogant stance during photographs. The cries of children, screams of the man who was murdered here by having his head thrown into a burning fireplace, orbs amassing instantly and moving freely in addition to the hundreds of pieces of scientific paranormal evidence are all reasons why the ancient Ram Inn claims and lives up to being the most haunted home in England. The mummified cats and skeletal remains of children, in addition to the lengthy history this plot of land provides, leaves the ancient Ram Inn as a remarkably complex and condemning building for the evil that manifests within it. John Humphreys lived in this home for more than 50 years until he passed away in 2017. The home is now owned by his family and remains open for visitors, with most of which being paranormal investigators looking to test their will to endure the hauntings of the ancient Ram Inn. Tonight, we will attempt to bear just one night in this legendary home. If you hear or see anything during this video, please leave a comment and let us know. Jerry and Ginger, do you guys want to walk in since you've never seen it? Yeah, go explore. You haven't been in there before. Here you get the fun experience. I see a mannequin. Uh, is that a dead body in that Oh, case? I remember this from the video. What is that? You ever seen a mummified cat before? No, dude, but poor kitty. What the f- Oh my god. This is real. It's real. And there's a scrub daddy in the back. <laughs> 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 what the f is Wait, why is there a scrub? It honestly is pretty nice. It is, actually. Yeah. Very, except in a small place, I guess, I'll get a little tangled, but it's really nice. Because feel... your hands free, you have your body camera yeah. on. Please, like, no, please, please don't steal my <laughs> Please don't start wearing a vest, otherwise it won't seem cool anymore and everyone's just gonna be like, oh. Okay, okay, I'm getting I'm getting the creepy vibes. This beer is kinda nice. <laughs> You're checking yourself out? I'm sorry. This is a serious situation. It's a, it's a habit. Well, I was gonna say, it's a great idea, but I don't really want to look like a nerd. Ooh, yeah. Hey man, if you weren't so much bigger than me, I'd <laughs> Both yeah. of you are so much bigger. Why are you guys yeah, getting closer to me, dog? Stop. The game starts. <laughs> this is what you were talking about? Yeah, they found kids' bones and a sacrificial dagger. Still haven't found all of them. They believe There's this whole house right? is built on top of a pagan burial ground. 
And it's interesting it's too. It's not just like bones. It's actual sacrifices, which is I think the distinction is important yeah. for energy. That those kids were ritualistically murdered. Is there a reason why there's a mirror in the middle? That or so you can check your makeup. Yeah. Well, earlier he was checking himself out in that mirror. <laughs> he was giving himself the face. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again, Jerry. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, also under this fireplace right here, there's a tunnel system that connects to the church. She actually stuck a phone down there with on a stick, and you can see the tunnels that go underneath the house connecting this oh, to the Oh, they legitimately church. discovered the full tunnel. Yeah. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's Interestingly, really cool. it connects to the crypt of the church. Yeah. Not just the church itself, so like graves. and A psychic also said she sees kids crawling out of that hole. Mm. So a kid could see. Yeah, Elton could probably fit in there. <laughs> Ant Man right here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting hyped. He's getting no. hyped. Here we go. I'm just doing the calculations of like if I throw a right hook fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> David versus Goliath. No. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I love you. Throw <laughs> jabs. <laughs> This is getting feisty. I like it. I like it. Y'all are going to regret this later. Let's do a ritual. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time. Normally, and then bust this thing out. Yeah. Just for a moment. Yeah. Flashlight? Yep. 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 Warm. Yeah, this is new to me, this entire area. And this is what remember I was telling you the first time I ever had like poultry activity was watching a cat fall just circle this. Mm. And it was here, which would be directly underneath the tunnel system. But at that time, it was just theorized. Hello. My name is Jerry. Wanted to come here to learn more about all the spirits, all the souls that's lost here. Um, heard a lot of stories. Please use me, use the energy from me and the tools that we have today. Hello again, Elton. I'm behind you now. This is my third time here. I was obviously here earlier, but really hoping that tonight I can capture something, and you can show me something that we've never seen before. I've heard all of the tales of how powerful you are, and I have never seen anything happen here with enough brute force to convince me without a shadow of doubt that you are the strongest entity in the United Kingdom or in the world is here. I've seen little items move. I've heard lots of things said. If you can do anything tonight that would just blow my mind, make anyone in this place run out of the building, I'd be super appreciated. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ginger. It is my first time here as well. I'm very sorry to hear what happened to the children here, especially. And 1700s. Feel free to use us for our energy, use our bodies however you need. And. Excited to get this started. Hello, I'm Connor. You know me very well. <laughs> Inside and out. Inside and out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still waiting to see you do something crazy, physical. I want to see some stuff move. Hello, I'm Colin. We have had a great line of communication tonight. And Seth. there has been something tonight that made me almost throw up multiple times, especially over there in the barn. So if that thing is still here, I'm not afraid of you and I would like to see you do something legit. Just like everyone else has said. So bring it. 
I heard something when I think you were talking come from that direction. Yeah. Anyone else hear that? Mm -hmm. Okay, movement. Hmm. The knocks we were hearing earlier were insane. Mm -hmm. And eight in a row. Yeah. In theory, we'd hear them like <coughs> upstairs. Right above us right now in this room. Investigate. <laughs> All right, all right. We're nice. digging around a lot. Yeah. Also, also earlier, we kept saying like agitated, on board, like keep it going. As soon as we stopped, it was really? just like, come on, yeah. Basically, I reached out to uh, a pra like a practicing witch and was like, hey, if we go to locations, could you look at the history and then write out like a list of things we can do to essentially like help summon something? Just because I feel like for the last few years, I've only gone the scientific route. Virginia. But I've always wanted to go like this route as well just to see if it makes any difference and because i was already in here with you before without anything like this and i feel like it would be kind of like an a b test now if things start moving and she's flying off the walls and it's like we should start doing stuff like this at every location it says this ritual must be conducted deep within the location typically in the banqueting hall or where members would historically gather ritual must occur uh deep into the night at witching hour when the veil between worlds is thinnest, which is now uh, you will need a minimum of five participants, symbolizing the five points of a pentagram, with one leader who will act as the summoner or high priest. Six black candles should be placed in a pentagram pattern around the ritual area. The candles represent the five points of power. A silver chalice filled with red wine, symbolizing blood, shall be used in the ritual. A ceremonial dagger with a black hilt will be used for symbolic offerings and you will need a horned bell. This will be wrong to mark the beginning and end of the ritual. We are family. It says a lock of hair or personal item from each participant, symbolizing their commitment to the ritual. Lastly, you will need sigils of summoning inscribed on parchment, representing the names of dark entities or demons from ancient grimoires. It says the participants stand in a circle, each holding a lit black candle. Uh, the leader stands in the center holding the chalice and dagger. The leader begins by ringing the bell three times, signaling the opening of the ritual. Who would like to be the leader? I'll be the leader? Sure. Sure. <laughs> From going to school to be a pastor right. to leading. <laughs> That's, That's why you might be the perfect I'm person. full circle. Come on. <laughs> as What's above? next? As above? So so above. Above. <laughs> Evening. Good evening. Shadows? Dagger. And then in Latin, you have to read something. Oh, okay. great. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have to stand. Okay. okay. So we all have to stand. And then here's your invocation of darkness. We will make a noise. Thank you. In nomine tenebris ex quo omino lux vacamus te domine infre ad hoc sanctum vacum. Apere portus ad reginum obscuritus et ex exodi fata nostra. Sound like you were so nervous in class, like reading for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you. It's my first ritual. <laughs> <laughs> Translation is In the name of darkness from which all light flees, we call upon thee. Lord of the underworld to this sacred place. Open the gates to the kingdom or sh of shadows and hear our pleas. Then it says each participant steps forward, placing their personal item into a bowl at the leader's feet. The leader uses the ceremony of dagger to cut a small piece from each item, symbolically offering a part of each participant. A little lock of hair. This is so complex. Why don't we prep the hair? Well, I'll do it right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that short. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I got it. Here's the bowl. Boom. Thank you. I like this stuff, dude. It's creepy. You can take beard. Beard hair? <laughs> that is <laughs> nice. Oh, the chalice is supposed to be filled with wine. It doesn't say that. We have it. False. Does it say? <laughs> Does it literally <laughs> say it somewhere? <laughs> the leader dips sip. the dagger into the chalice, then anoints each participant on the forehead 
with the drop of the wine. You anoint us on the forehead and then you say that right after. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. That's cool. One for me too? Thank you. Yeah, might as well. Just go, go crazy. Just for safety? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sanguis pro mm-hmm. animus pro vita acipe hose sacrificium mm-hmm. et da nobis potestium tua. I think in editing, Knocked I'm just gonna part. like sub, I'm just gonna dub over you and just okay, make it good. something like Sanguias Proporasta. Right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna completely like, dub over you. Sanguias <laughs> Sangria un. <laughs> Translation Blood for power, spirit for life, accept this sacrifice and grant us your power. Sigil activation The sigils inscribed on parchment are placed around the ritual circle. The leader mm-hmm. then lights them on fire one by one while chanting the names of the entities written on them. Okay, so this one is air, which mm-hmm. represents communication with the spirits. There's two meanings so, to that one. So, yeah, this way it means protection, and then this way is danger and a warning. Okay. Don't mess with me. This one is an ancient pagan deities because this is on a pagan burial ground. This one is Agaris, a demon associated with natural disasters. This one represents fire, summoning powerful and chaotic spirits and demons. And this one represents a demon, a sigil drawn to invoke chaos and fear. So once you light them, then you have to read this bottom thing in bold. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> you got it, man. Right when he starts lighting it? The exact moment that he touched the flames of the paper. Dude. That is the exact moment. <gasps> Do you hear a whistle? Did you hear, did you hear from well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's burning. It was like right when I was yeah. going off. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Right when he starts lighting it. Fakamus. Te file tenebris aperi portas et ven, veni ad nos da nobis visolium tuam potetium tuam et obetetium tuam. Translation We call upon you, children of the dark, open the gates and come to us. Give us your vision, your power, and your obedience. The leader, holding the chalice high, recites the final invocation, calling upon the primary dark entity. It's in Latin. I am so sorry. Here we go. In nomine domine, infre magnus, architectus, ab imo. In nomine domine, infre magnus, architectus, ab imo. Wait, wait, wait. That was so much fucking incredible. Monday, te invecto, manifestre, in hoc loco, sacro, et concede, petitiones nostras. Translation, in the name of the... Oh my god. I heard it up there too. I just got... It's my favorite place. I got goosebumps up and down. Like, I don't know if it got colder or what. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's really dorky unless it works. It feels like it legs. Oh, looks like it isn't dorky. Translation, in the name of the... heard it up there too. Above. Translation. In the name of the Lord of the Underworld, great architect from the depths, I invoke you. Manifest in this sacred place and grant our requests. Are you afraid? A little bit. The participants in unison chant the following three times. No sumus tu servi per tenebras per flaman Per sanguinum, nos tibi venisimus. Nos sumus tu servi, per tenebras, per flamas, per sanguinum, 
nos tibi venissimus, nos sumus tu servi per tenebras, per flamen, per sanguinum, nos tibi venissimus. Translation, we are your servants through darkness, through flame, through blood, we are bound to you. It says the leader drinks from the chalice and then passes it to each participant to drink, sealing the pact. Really, hey, at least it's grape juice and not wine. <sighs> Concern. For us or for you? Fire. What, what is that? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm telling you. What is that? I'm going to do rituals more often. This is, this is delicious. I can get over the lap yeah. for that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the leader extinguishes the candles one by one at the end of the night. So we can probably put them out for now. It is weird, though. I feel like the vibe changed. It did 100%. For sure. I we hear had, that noise, especially. Mm -hmm. It's, it's colder, too. That just went up. Mm -hmm. What just went up? The cat ball on the table, no one touched it. Mm -mm. That's what went off last time, too. Mm -hmm. I kept feeling like I was seeing stuff behind you guys when the ritual was going on. Same. Same. I was looking at it with Me you. Too. No, not here. Trying to figure out what this mm -hmm. doorway right there. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Mm -hmm. Oh, the capital's still going on. Again. Mm -hmm. It stopped and went back on. You look the same. Oh my god. It definitely recognizes you. Yeah. Do you remember Elton? I haven't had that one off for me in like two years on point. No. That didn't go off the entire day. Right, no. it's only now. Or that. Oh, I'm going to start learning Latin. Me too. Because if, if we get activity <laughs> that much faster, I mean, we're going to do this more often. What in the... Did someone just come through? It's so weird. There's a cold that's coming in. If at any point... You want to give us an absolute direct confirmation of anything. The easiest way for us to know is to put energy into this box. By doing that, we'll know that what we're asking mm -hmm. are the right things. I think last night we had absolutely nothing when we left Pendle Hill. Mm -hmm. Perfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think last night we had absolutely nothing when we left Pendle Hill. Mm -hmm. Perfectly clean. Mm -hmm. We did that ritual hoping that it might help something. A bit, I was treated bad. A bit more power to be able to come through and communicate more easily. Did that help you? Are any of the noises we're hearing tonight noises from the children whose bodies were found here? Is the demon here? And if so, what's your name? Are you still in pain? Stephen. How many spirits are here with us right now?
What caused you the pain? I made that sound. Is it easier for you to talk over here? Ending. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it's behind. Yeah, like, whatever that is, it's like tons of movement right there. <clears throat> are you, are, is this a, the spirit of somebody who's buried in that pit? Yo, Dude, what the fuck? Oh, Yo, what? It's saying the devil. What the f is that? Full body chills. Bro. I'm listening to everything. No fucking way. This is, yeah, I talk over here. Yo, Dude, what the fuck? So Yo, what? It's saying the devil. What the f is that? Full body chose me. Bro. I'm listening to everything. No way. 
I just said, yeah, I talk over here. Dude, holy Yo. shit. What? No, like... This is, like, a full-on, like, conversation. Yeah. Okay, you guys have one of these. Is that common for you? No. no. <laughs> okay. I'm, like, literally shocked right now. That's... F- it literally sounds like someone... <sighs> yeah. Like, right Scream. into it. And there's even, like, ta- you can understand words as well. Yeah. It's not just all screaming. What's so crazy is... Last time we were here, the the main thing we caught, and I know this because it's in the trailer of the video, it was the first thing that we put in the video, was an EVP uh, was saying, screaming the devil. It was like one of the clearest ones we'd ever caught on this, and that's when I got addicted to it. Because we were in the barn, and we got, screaming the devil, and I like, could hear it absolutely clear as hell. Yeah. Oh my god! god. It's just yeah. screaming the devil! Oh, this is crazy. I heard so many noises around This right is now. crazy. It's cold, too. Yeah. I'm so freaked out right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're the one who did that. I know. Dude, holy <laughs> shit. That never convinced me to do it. I was literally going to bail out of it. because I was just like. the same. You look the same as mine. Do you Talk remember? Dude, that's not fuck. you. No, no. You two. Can, what, can, you, can yeah. you spin around then or, or, and see? Like, Listen, they're spinning around and we don't hear anything. No, that, that one was crazy. That was in that was in this room. Yeah. yeah. That was like... You look the same as mine. Do you Talk remember? Oh, dude, that's not you. No, no. You two. What, can one of you, can yeah. you spin around then or, or and see like? Listen, they're spinning around and we don't hear anything. There's only one body camera facing yeah, I heard that. that one. Yeah. I want you to see me. Okay. Show yourself. Okay, you ready? I'll hold this over here. You ask the question. Oh Three, two. Is the devil here with us tonight? Seth. Again? Twice. Why are we getting a repeat? Of like everything. They're not named Seth, but. Or something I close. That. What's it called when the energy's stuck in a loop? Uh, stone tape theory. Whoa. Dude, I just like my eyes started Whoa. watering up. Bro, what? <laughs> I've never seen sh- like this. <clears throat> I am. Yeah. Now, is this normal for you guys? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. To I get know, that much? Dude. Right here. Mm-hmm. Ready? I'll play this, you. No. Uh, That's oh, good. yeah, play. Yeah, this yesterday. is this is last night's. I strongly believe that there is something malevolent and sinister at this location. Are you purposefully not answering us to your data? Is that the trick you are playing? Yeah, yeah. What do you want from us? What See? do you want from us? This is literally what we got last night. Oh, <laughs> Same reporter. So what do you take that as? Do you think there's somebody that we can't see screaming right here? That's really la- that's literally like last night. Not knowing how to manage their energy mm-hmm. that they're putting into it. That, that's a lot of energy. Yeah, this is nothing. There's not a single. My, my whole thought process behind like when we can hear it is like a refined... High, in, high intelligence spirit that knows how to like push that through 
but any of the other that sounds like mumbo jumbo to us, I think it's just like our inability to understand them. Mm-hmm. Like if you were to speak French, I would have no idea what you're saying, mm-hmm. but it, it's perfectly right intelligent right. way to respond to me. I just don't know what you're saying. Like for all I know, they're screaming Latin. <laughs> you realize that flashlight hasn't gone off yet since either. Uh uh-uh. uh. I feel Dude, like honestly, I'm... what the f did we do? Burn. Burn? Burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be willing to go back into the barn? Yeah, I want to. Because we know we got no REM pods, no cat balls in the barn. Yep. So again, referencing what we just did with you, if anything changes, then we know it, it worked. Yeah, I want to. I hope we called it in because I want to see what it was. Yeah, let's Genuinely. try. Let's try and go to the barn. The though. way that shit switched up. I mean, like we're like joking around, like having fun. Zero, was, zero knocks, dude. zero and anything. Shit's got real. Imagine if we actually like, read it properly. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got the point across, apparently. <laughs> it's the intent oh, of it's all intentions. It. Oh, I was executed. Did you guys get all these creaking from the top? But we were, well, at least when I was here, I only heard them from inside mm-hmm. the barn. Mm-hmm. So I didn't hear them this clearly. We heard them through that building. This is clear as daylight, like. And you'll know there's there's no chance. I'm in the corner. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it keeps going. What? It's interesting because we didn't even investigate this room. No. Oh, you didn't when you were here? No, not even for a second. Oh, wow. In this room will always, because I remember this. No. What's crazy is it's like a perfect straight line. Mm stand to get away from this. <laughs> <laughs> if this one goes off, then it's like... Phew. I'm walking around you. Could you make that a noise? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a was that noise. a knock? That's a new noise. Is that... Was that was someone? Yeah. yeah. Tell me you heard that. Is that? Was that was some what? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me you heard that. Oh. There's something crawling around. <laughs> hey, come in here. If you're over there, come over to the circle. Why don't you go film over there and just see if you can make yeah, it? Yeah, Evan, I think the wide lens. <laughs> <laughs> I think the wide lens might be better. Where's that coming from? Those are going off yeah. like crazy. Hello. I wonder like if we had all four points if it would I Yeah. That is going Okay. Over there. I, I can't. I like the woods. It literally said, I'm in the corner. It's been screaming for attention. I think maybe one more yeah. shot of this over here. I'll just like hold it over here. <sighs> yeah. It sounds like it wants to talk. It likes that. It likes that. What the fuck? That sounds like a Christmas song. It was almost like Holy Night. Holy Night. That's. I was it not? Christmas on the doorway over there. <laughs> the little boy likes you. Oh. The trauma oh, that was sacrificed. The that comes out fucking great. Yeah, right there. I'm really convinced that was holy night. It's something that wants to talk. It likes that. It likes that. What the fuck? That was not like a Christmas song. It was almost like holy night. Holy night. <laughs> Alright, I'm turning this off. That's insane. Oh, 
Ginger really yours? bizarre. This we didn't get anything ginger? like this. Huh? It has so much activity. This is the first time I've seen this much activity oh. in a location. I'm buried down the road. I'm buried down the road. Funny. There used to be a road that went straight through this building. That road. Over there, oh, there was a road that went right through it. That was like a a stable like workshop. So people would drive their stables right through it. Ooh. All right, I'll start and I'll go quieter so that way when you guys are louder, we're the same level. Okay. Sorry, I heard that was a massive. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. Alright, I'll start and I'll go quieter so that way when you guys are louder, we're the same level. Okay. Here we go. Jenny, you want to go upstairs and see what's up there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this place is actually creepy as hell. <laughs> like, this place it's... is not chill at all. <laughs> if only we had the helmet. Oh, oh yeah. no, I'm so glad so we didn't. Oh, God. I brought the recorder closer to the corner. What is it that you'd like to say? Tenet. Are there children coming out of the tunnels? Are you running around because you want to play with us? Is the little boy really a little boy? You can trust us. During the ritual, we burned sigils of two other evil entities. Are we speaking to either one of you as well? Jones. Ending. Did it say John's? Yeah. John. John's. John's. J O H N apostrophe F. Yeah, up. John's. This is John's by... house. Oh. That's his picture right there. He died in this house, too. Oh, he was the one that was trying to keep this place. Oh, that's straight. what you're pointing at, the paper. John's. Yeah, it literally yeah. says John's. And his painting's right it's there. Oh. Ted, John Possible. actually built part of this fireplace. Possible trial site of John Horn, Protestant, burned at the stake by the Church of Rome, 1556. Church wardens forcibly broke into inns carrying drunks to church. John. My name is Helen. Wait, well, it did say I was executed here. Possible trial, but a trial site though. John, the owner in that painting, died on the couch over there. And that's where we've been hearing the noises mm -hmm. coming from. Let's listen to this and then go to the next one. I wish I thought to do one before, yeah, before right. we did anything, just to like uh, prove that we had a clean slate, but I only have last night's recording. Um, we well, have all our the recordings on our DR60. That is true. Okay, off to the barn. Yeah. We could do some table tipping. Dude, I'd be down to try. That was weird. That was really Okay, so when I, when, I, when I walked in, mm -hmm. literally walked in, I didn't know who else was here. I walked in <laughs> and there were, there were two people here. And the first thing he says is, do you want to do some table tipping? And I was like, sure. And then he handed me a camera. And then I filmed uh, a table and a chair to start moving on its own. Huh? What? It's in the, it's in the barn. 
Yeah, what? we had never done it either, but I have no explanation. It was really freaky. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah. And that was done with four of you. Yeah. And nothing um, invoked. Okay. Can can we explain a little bit what the tip is? Oh, we just go do it. I honestly don't have an explanation for you, but it's creepy. I genuinely didn't understand it either, and I was filming the entire thing and like was watching people's hands, feet, elbows. It just started. It's an old psychic like communication method, kind of like all the different things they used to do, like the spirit horn, spirit boards. This was like a big thing that was popular in America and England too. You usually ask for an answer, like start tipping the table if it's yes. But when we did it, it just, like, was violently shaking. I remember you. Ha 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 said, I remember you. Yes. Both sit down. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to sit this one by the door. Use something else. Use something, something else. else. <laughs> this one? Let me no. honestly say that. My name is John. My name, name is, is John. John. John's in here. What if one of those K2 fucking like crazy on the chair right now? Yeah. Johnny, you might want to switch the other side so that way you can see that if when it happens. Bro, it's almost 66.6. K2. K2 fully to red. Going off. We haven't even like done anything yet. No. Uh, before we do this. Wait a minute. We found the warning page that was given to us oh, about great. the ritual. So I just figured I uh, might want to. Read it now, um, just so we know. Just so we know uh, what we. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> That's crazy. John likes it. it says every ritual I have created for you is designed to entirely open your mind, body, and soul to those on the other side. If done correctly, they will be given extreme access without limit to your existence. And communicate and can communicate in whatever way they desire. This may be visions or hallucinations, Recording. physical feelings of joy or immense pain, personality changes or complete possession. You may have thoughts that you have never had before, and it is up to you whether you enact upon them or not. Anything that happens in which seems unusual to you, to who you are at your core of your soul is a form of communication from the other side, and you must acknowledge every action taken by those communicating in the spirit realm. Failure to do so may mean their actions taken will escalate to whatever means necessary mm -hmm. to get their message through. Each ritual is customized to the locations you are visiting and the historical evidence as well as paranormal documentation of those types of spirits. If the area is known for the demonic, these rituals attract or summon the demonic. If the area is known for positive energy, it does so as well. Yet it seems you have chosen to primarily go to darker locations on this trip. Best of luck, and remember, do not ignore the communication once you've completed any of these rituals. That explicitly means to not close the rituals until they have stopped all communication. I cannot guarantee that closing of the ritual means their connection or attachment may halt. After all, you have asked to summon them, and now they want their stories or messages heard. We should have read that first. We, read that we first. just got a cleansing like a week ago. <laughs> oh, from a ritual that we had previously done and got an attachment from. Yeah. Oh, man. Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just say demon? Demon. D E M O N. Oh. oh my god. Great. Have you been watching this temperature just drop mm -hmm. point by point? Yeah, 65.6 .6 now. Really? It's dropping. Yeah. One. Yeah. So to table tip, all we have to do is just put the backs of our hands on here and just sit and ask if they're with us. Are there currently any spirits, entities, demons, or anything else that are with us right now? Full spike on the K2. Bro. The chair's freaking rocking. See, I'm, we're not doing that. What the f yeah. That's crazy. Huh? Because I filmed this earlier, but now I'm like watching everyone. 
Day two, starting to spike too. Like, what, what the f? Heck? What does that? Dude, this is tripping me out. Bro, you can feel the table, like, actually, like, someone's thumping on it. Ugh. It's so bizarre. Me too. Push it really hard. Children are playing. Oh, I don't scared. understand. <laughs> oh at my all. god. So what? The temperature is dropping more and more and more too. Can you push that chair off the table? Oh. Church bells. Yeah. Okay. That's what that is. Oh. All right. We know you're here, so can you use that device in the center of the chair to put energy I'm only into? A child. The kids are playing. I'm only a child. Can you put energy into the chair to give us a direct yes to a question? Even if you are a child, do you feel as though you are evil? Bright red. I can hear it. Dude, feel that? It is thumping. Bright red still. Bro. Still. Dude. Still bright red? Still. So yes. red. Solid red. Please don't hit me. What's crazy is like all the times we've had like demonic entities pose as children, this is a child oh saying I am evil. Is there a reason you are evil? Were you harmed here? Did something terrible happened to you? We like investigators. I know dude, I'm so I'm so scared of it hitting my face. I'm like... 64.9 degrees now. The temperature keeps dropping. Did you choose to be evil? Watch out. Me? It's going right for you. <laughs> so I'm rocking the hardest. I can get it really close to me. You can hear the... Yeah. Dude. Oh, it's gonna dude, 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 dude. This is so fucking weird. Remember earlier when I was like, hey, can you show me something I've never seen before? I mean, I was in here earlier, but this is... The K2 is just, I mean... What's crazy is we have the K2 as backup evidence. That's pure just energy. Yeah. And the temps fall. drop. The temps still can continue to drop. Like, say whatever you want about physics or the old chair. Oh I mean... God. Oh, oh, dude. How are the capitals? The capitals are in the pillow. It's like so it, it's like a shock absorber. That's insane. Can you stop rocking the chair? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh no. Hey man, why do we wait for you to do this? Uh, seriously? <laughs> what? This is our first time. What? I didn't do this earlier. I just literally just stood right there and watched the whole thing. Isn't it's it like, crazy though? Yeah. Like you're just putting your hands on a table. This might be like hat on a hat on a hat. Can we try that again but leave the audio recorder rolling? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. My yeah. fingers are like freezing. Oh, oh, so the ice cubes. 66.9 degrees when we started, 64.5 now. No way. Yeah. yeah. Edward, are you in here? Edward's the evil spirit in the barn that likes to attack people. Yeah, same with the warning. Why didn't you tell us that when we walked in here? <laughs> we told Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> please. Communication. Um, 
Well, this thing should be able to cord for. This thing's crazy. How do we work it? Oh my god. Which is crazy because that means there's like a divide or different spirits. Mm. Or, wait, hold on. We never explained how to use this in that room. We just, we just turned it on, mm -hmm. and then we're talking about how, like, maybe we can't understand them. Okay, this device in my hand is designed to be able to pick up sounds, frequencies, energies, voices that we as humans on Earth cannot hear. So all we need you to do, and I, this is gonna sound simpler than it probably is, but is try to clearly communicate the message you want us to hear. Whether that is telepathically, energetically, emotionally, I don't know, but if you focus it after we're finished speaking, we'll be able to hear it on this. So we're gonna put it in the center of this chair where we know your energy already is, and you're able to control. Elizabeth. When we were filming earlier, I could have sworn behind you guys, I saw what looked like a guy with a cloak on. Like yeah. I was telling him like a ghost, but it was just all black. I keep feeling like a breeze. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I felt I, too. Like, I thought we were, I thought it was like an open air barn at first. <laughs> What is that? What is it at now? 64.7, but it went down to 64.5. Yeah, strange that it gets colder when more people go into the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, I'm gonna hit record and back at it. I don't know, just go as long as you can, I guess. Okay, yeah. sorry, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make sure I'm not the one stopping it. Three, two, we're in the barn, the ancient Ram Inn, and we'd love to know the name. Marie. Okay. Or what type of spirit or energy are you? Okay. Or what type of spirit or energy are you? We know that you're evil. Do you consider yourself demonic? Who's moving this table right now? Can you say your name? Painting size. What's the message you're trying to tell us? You can use our energy to move the chair more. Edward, are you in here?
is the succubus or incubus still watching us right now? Do you like sitting on that chair, rocking it? We can see you all. Is there something we can do or offer to get a more clear line of communication with you. Did the ritual work? Ending the recorder. Ralphie. Dude, that's crazy. What the it hell is stops. that? Stops. <coughs> I'm so confused. We're at the bar. We need to grab it. And we'd love to know the name. Hello. Right? Or what type of spirit or entity are you? You know that you're evil. You can submit it yourself. Demonic? I'm here. Dude, that's a fucking whisper right there. I'm here. That's crazy. Holy shit. Dude, that's crazy. I'm here. Come forward. Mm -hmm. Surgery. Yo, what was that at the what end? Did I, say? Was like a I was like a throaty. Mm -hmm. My name's Edward. <laughs> Whoa, oh my god, god. I'm Edward. That that's so crazy. Weird. That's human. That's like that's uh, like us. I'm Edward. That's funny too, because she said that Edward's not like a demon. She said even like Mediums have come in here and said that Edward was like a human that was around here and his brother died But he won't let his brother's soul pass on either Yeah, he like holds them hostage But he's the one Edward's the one they see up there and he scratches bruises Possesses. Those have to be some of the clearest EVPs that I've heard in a very long time Same. Same. Uh, Like what's happening? Before we close the circle and end the connection, 
which we have to do before those candles extinguish, do you have a final message or anything you want to say? Goodbye. That's goodbye. Is that what you're doing? That's goodbye. I'm curious, after this whole night, we were killed or something like that? We were killed. What what's your name, the person we've been speaking with? I'm not saying. Oh my god. This is where we heard all the creaking footsteps. Alright, we're coming up here now. Again, yeah, we mean no harm. Oh, I see something down there. Someone hiding from us? Yeah, behind that chair. Like underneath the table behind the chair. Are you hiding? I had a bad past. What happened to you? Did something bad happen to you in this room? Is that why you're hiding in there in the corner? Is the demon that groped Connor here with us? Controller. Controller. That's what it said during our Estus earlier, is it wants to control. Were you manifested or created? Worship? It's your fate. It's your fate. Need help? What is that voice? Oh yeah, K2 is going off here. She has her eye on you. Who are you? Are you a little girl hiding here? Emma. Emma. Okay, Emma. Hi, Emma. If you haven't heard from earlier, my name is Jerry. And this is Ginger. Oh, on the chair now. There you go. We can see you now. Whoa, two. There's two of them. Yeah. You're both up here. We can see both of you here. Are you both the children that have lost their lives here? Is your purpose purely survival? So there's a demon here? Like in the kid's voice? There's a demon here. Mm -hmm. I think we are literally playing with fire on that. Oh, thank the gods. Thank the gods. It's a pagan thing. Because yeah, if we know that worked, and that means we should also know to close it. And yeah. we can't close it if it goes out itself. Is there anything? Not yet. Oh. Yep. Wait, I saw two. I saw one in that chair. And one standing by this book. Oh, yep. Let's sit on the bed. Huh? That's where all the activity is, right? Right. The moment she said, sit on the bed, this went off. Okay, we're here. Before we leave, if there's anything you want to tell us. I see you right there. I see that there's someone sitting in this chair right in front of us. Are you the one making it feel so heavy in here right now? Dude, this, this, it's just 
happen. Really? Yeah. Just spiking? Just spiking to orange to orange, sometimes to red to orange, constantly. Are you the ones making me feel sick to my stomach right now? Okay. Come in. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you all. It was a pleasure meeting you all. Thank you. Got it. Closed circle. Mm -hmm. Atmosphere. The leader extinguishes the candles one by one while saying in Latin. Claudio Portas Vinso Vires Ad Te Nos Revetmir. I think you can do hall number one now. Nice. <laughs> 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 it's literally just a chalice full of wax right now, dude. All the candles melted together. <laughs> Alright, the last step says each of us must drink from the chalice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, I was like, no way. It does say. The bell is rung three times, marking the end of the ritual. I want to thank you. Did you hear that? For listening, right? We want to uh -huh. thank you for listening. And uh, you okay? <laughs> oh man, you oh. Oh. burn bad. Hey, well now you can sue Elton. <laughs> How great is that? We never <laughs> signed anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, start acting like it hurts. Oh! <laughs> I think it hurt my toe. The pain! And like this. worked? God, I did a damn good job. <laughs> good job, fam. Good job, man. That was great. You read that like well your name. I am. From pastor to demonologist. <laughs> That's <crazy. laughs> you did a great job. That was shocking. Like oh, a shocking damn. amount of stuff. Just for the record, you guys. Did us a favor because we had a location tonight we were literally 10 minutes away from it and then they called us and said hey we double booked there's actually 30 other people ghost hunting there tonight and then i realized you guys were like three three and a half hours away and i called you and i was like if i bomb it down south did you guys be down like i'll jump in and then if there's time at the end of the night and well there wasn't time at the end of the night and now it's the morning <laughs> so <laughs> so and now we're graced with being able to be possessed. Yeah, I we did <laughs> we did do a complete ritual, and you're st I didn't know you were sleeping here at all mm -hmm. until the motorhome. I'll trade you if you want. I'll take here. You take the motorhome. It is called the honeymoon suite. Right. <laughs> 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 no, baby. I do. Well, I do. Thanks Jenny, for having me. It. It. it was a pleasure. No, I'm glad you guys came because that evidence was incredible. Look at that Honestly. rocking chair. Just the yeah. ZR60 alone. I mean, I've never heard. <laughs> Like yeah, it is it is cool like how this because we, we've been talking for a couple days being like how can we time this out because your schedule is set our schedule is set mm -hmm. We have a cancellation you happen to be here all the times we've been this close to each other and finally It was like meant for like this night thousands of miles away <laughs> So far. And this, It's yeah. the first we've ever done anything like this. Yeah. We've done like minor binding things to, like mm -hmm. connect to the locations, but so many firsts for me tonight. And the, and the irony is that... <laughs> well, that's the irony. Is that we were supposed to do this at Hellfire Caves. We didn't. We were supposed to do it at Pendle Hill. We, we didn't. Did. We ended up doing it tonight with you, who has the polar opposite background in this. Yeah. And, then you and he led it. Yeah. Dude. You ended up being the leader, dude. For real. Killed it. Come on, everybody. Awesome. Got okay. Okay. For real. Right. <laughs> Hey, if you're still watching this video at this point and you aren't subscribed to Paranormal Files, go do that right now, please. Why are you, please. Not, why are you not you're, If you're yet? literally at this point of the video and you're literally still watching, go. Like, we're go summoning right demons for you come guys. On, go, come on. Please go yeah. right now. Yeah. I just burnt myself. It's the least you can do. <laughs> Pay for his medical bills. Please cover the lawyers before he sees me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get ahead of here. Time's ticking. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to pack up while the sun is fully out. That is insane right Dude. now. <coughs> the sun is 100% out. We're going to pack up, get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. What a good night. That was fun. Yeah.